There are growing fears for an Iranian climber who competed in an international tournament without a hijab in South Korea after friends told the BBC's Persian service that they have been unable to contact her since Sunday. The BBC also quoted well-informed sources as saying Elmaz Rukabi's passport and mobile phone have been confiscated. The BBC World Service presenter Rana Rattenpour tweeted on Tuesday morning that Rukabi was on a plane bound for Tehran and that there are concerns about her safety. Rukabi was competing in the Asian Championships. Its organizers, the International Federation of Sport Climbing, have been contacted for comment. The online news site Iran Wire reported Rukabi had been taken to the Iranian embassy in Seoul to ensure she could be flown home with minimal scrutiny. Iran Wire, a small anti-regime website, quoted a source as saying that Rukabi will be flown back to Tehran on Tuesday, one day earlier than scheduled, to deter possible protests at Imam Khomeini International Airport. The Guardian was not able to confirm the reports. In a tweet on Tuesday, the Iranian embassy in Seoul said Rikabi departed from Seoul to Iran, early morning of October 18, 2022, along with the other members of the team. The embassy of the Islamic Republic of Iran in South Korea strongly denies all the fake, false news and disinformation regarding. The Guardian has contacted the embassy for comment. Iran is engulfed by deadly protests in the wake of Masa Amini's death in police custody last month. The 22-year-old had been detained by the country's morality police for not wearing a hijab properly. Some female protesters have burned their hijabs and cut off their hair, while crowds have chanted Zan, Zendegi, Azadi, Woman, Life, Freedom, 